I think I found the fruit that will counter every fruit in Block's fruits, even in this current meta. So as you all already know, we are very well aware that the current meta of Block's fruits is the current meta filled with trash, completely overpowered one-shot combo fruits. But I found that there is actually one fruit in the game that can counter all of that. And the fruit that I'm talking about is the fruit that is Door. And I will explain in this video why this fruit counters every fruit in Block's fruits. Now the reason why I say this is actually very simple. In a meta filled with many many one shot combos, the best way to actually counter it is simply by running away. And that's the best thing about Thor, because Thor is basically the best fruit to run away. It's better than light since light does slow you down and you could still get hit. However with Thor, if you use Thor, then you could easily just use it to teleport to a different island which makes it super easy to run away. Now another reason why Door counters pretty much every fruit in Blast Fruits is because Door plus Swords are very overpowered. Using something like Toshita, Toshita is basically the best sword for something like Door. It makes you very overpowered. Combine it with something like Soul Guitar, God Human, or Electric Law, and a good accessory, and you become a beast in PvP. And with that being said, Door is not only good for running away, there are two moves of Door that is actually very good for PvP. Especially the move where you become invisible, because in that move, you are basically invulnerable to all damage, and you could use moves like um so guitars el diablo to stun enemies up in the air and then use something like the treat to completely to finish them off so you see wild doe and leopard are very powerful fruits they can't hit what they can't touch and they can't hit what they can't see is basically the principle of door because if they do touch you and you do go to a low hp and you are in danger of losing your bounty you can simply use your teleport move to get out of the area and teleport to a new, new island where they can't chase you or in pvp you can just go invisible and beat them up yourself the only problem however with door is that there's a pretty high skill gap because if you're not very skilled or you're a newbie in pvp then it will be quite difficult to use door however if this video does get to 2000 views at least and 50 likes i will make a video on how to use door properly now, do you guys remember what i said when i said block suits was filled with hackers that still is true and if you're fighting against someone who has incredibly good aim that it's almost like he has aimbot or is very skilled well this door fruit actually counters that as well now the basic of door is that every time you get in trouble just use your c move to teleport out of said trouble so you don't lose your bounty because there's a lot of players in blast you to also use aimbot like there's a lot of them and if not aimbot they're using some form of hacks like infinite soru which make it so that they can dodge every combo that you throw at them so in that case if you're noticing that your enemies just dodging everything you throw at them just run away now in my opinion there are actually a lot of races or some races that works well with door now those two races in my opinion that works the best with door is skypean and cyborg now the reason for this is because with cyborg you can actually do damage to your enemy while you're invisible and cyborg just helps you survive a lot of combos now with skypean the best thing about this is if you use your teleport move to teleport to a new island you could use your race ability there to heal up and then get back and fight as fast as you can now in block splits, you really rarely, you know, need to decide on what build you should use. It's like either you use Doe, you use Leopard, you use Venom or Soul, and you're pretty much good to go. You use Acidic Rifle, Acidic Rifle with God Human, and you're pretty much good to go as well. Like there's a lot of OP combos when it comes to those fruits. However, when it comes to Door, it does really boil down to mix and matching and which um sword which fighting style fits your playstyle best like let's say for example you want to start combos easier something like electric claw would work much better than god human since electric claw does have a very powerful combo starter however if you want to fight sky campers since there's a lot of sky campers in the game electric claw would be pretty weak against sky campers and something like god human would work way better now if you want to do one shot combos spiky trident might be better than toshita but um if you want to be in general toshita is better than spiky trident now you could also use kabucha because some um, kabucha is better for combos however if, if you want something to start combos spike i mean soul guitar might actually work better this ma mix, and mi mix and making you know mix matching uh with different swords different guns different fighting styles different accessories different races is definitely why door is super overpowered because door is something that works well in almost any build Anyway, I think that's gonna be it guys for today's video. I did my best to show you guys why Dora is going to be the counter for every fruit 
suits out there in block suits so i hope you guys enjoyed this video because the last video didn't do too well so i guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video because um yeah took a long time to make this video talk took a long time to edit and stuff like that but yeah door is the counter to every fruit in block suits and i hope you guys start using door a little bit more often after this video